December 22, 2015. The world watched as history was made. A towering pillar of metal and fire descended from the sky, engines blazing, and did something that had never been done before. It landed. Not crashed, not splashed down in the ocean, but landed. Standing tall, ready to fly again. This is the Falcon 9 first stage booster. In the years since that first landing, it's completed this seemingly impossible feat over 400 times. While others said it couldn't be done, SpaceX proved them wrong, again and again and again. But now SpaceX is about to turn its own revolutionary achievement on its head. This is Starship, the largest rocket ever built, and it's missing something crucial. Landing legs, the very innovation that made SpaceX the dominant force in spaceflight is being left behind. The question isn't just why, it's why now. Why would SpaceX abandon the very technology that gave them an unbeatable advantage? Why risk catching a massive rocket with a tower when they're already leading the industry? The answer reveals something profound about innovation. Sometimes the greatest leap forward means letting go of what got you there. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The story of rocket evolution begins in the midst of war. Eight centuries ago, on a battlefield in Kaikang, Chinese defenders faced a terrifying choice. The Mongol army, vast and seemingly unstoppable, advanced toward their walls. In that moment of desperation, they unveiled a weapon that would change the course of history. Arrows of flying fire. The night sky erupted with streaks of flame, and the Mongol forces learned a lesson written in fire and smoke. Humanity had taken its first step toward the stars, though no one could have imagined where that step would lead. For centuries, these primitive rockets remained tools of destruction, their true potential locked away by the limits of human understanding. But in a quiet corner of Auburn, Massachusetts, on a cold March morning in 1926, everything changed. Robert Goddard stood beside his creation, a strange spindly contraption that looked nothing like those ancient fire arrows. His hands trembled, not from the cold, but from the weight of the moment. When his liquid-fueled rocket took flight, it did more than just break free from Earth's surface. It shattered eight centuries of limitation, opening a door that could never be closed again. Today's rockets would be unrecognizable to Goddard. Take United Launch Alliance's Vulcan, a testament to modern engineering prowess. Its BE-4 engines, powered by liquid methane, produced thrust that would have seemed like science fiction just decades ago. With the capability to lift 27 tons to low Earth orbit, 4.5 tons more than SpaceX's Falcon 9, Vulcan should be the undisputed king of the launch market. But sometimes the most powerful force in innovation isn't raw strength. It's the courage to rethink everything. The numbers tell a story that would have been unthinkable just a few years ago. In 2024, Vulcan, with all its power and cutting-edge technology, reached for the stars twice. During those same 12 months, SpaceX's Falcon 9 soared into space 132 times, once every three days. This isn't just a difference in frequency, it's a revolution in how we think about access to space itself. Think about the last time you boarded an airplane. The familiar routine, finding your seat, stowing your bag, settling in for the journey. Now imagine if the flight attendant handed you a parachute instead of a safety card. Imagine watching your plane, after delivering you to your destination, plummet into the ocean. Sounds absurd, doesn't it? Yet this is exactly how we've approached spaceflight for decades. Treating rockets like expensive fireworks, using them once and letting them fall away into the sea. The economics are staggering. An Airbus A320 the workhorse of many airlines costs roughly $100 million. If we had to buy a new one for every flight, splitting the cost among 186 passengers, each ticket would cost over half a million dollars. The only reason you can cross continents for the price of a nice dinner is reusability. This simple truth became SpaceX's North Star. But the path to revolution is never easy. SpaceX's journey began with Falcon 1 a rocket born from desperation and determination. Three failures pushed the company to the brink of bankruptcy. Elon Musk had invested his last dollars, and the team worked knowing each launch could be their last. On that fourth attempt in 2009, 
more than a rocket rode into the sky. The hopes of private space flight itself hung in the balance. When Falcon 1 reached orbit, it didn't just save SpaceX, it proved that the impossible was possible. Yet even in triumph, SpaceX saw further. In 2011, while others celebrated their success, they began testing something that seemed like science fiction. They called it Grasshopper, a rocket that could land itself. Industry experts didn't just doubt, they laughed. Rockets don't land, they said. They fall. That's what rockets do. The same voices that had said private companies couldn't reach orbit were now saying rockets couldn't come back down safely. SpaceX's response? They built it anyway. December 21st, 2015. The air at Cape Canaveral crackled with anticipation. As the Falcon 9 booster descended through the night sky, flame-piercing darkness, thousands held their breath. In mission control, years of work, countless failures, and endless iterations came down to this moment. When those four legs touched down, steady and sure, it wasn't just metal meeting concrete, it was the future arriving ahead of schedule. Consider Booster B-1067, the Chuck Norris of rockets. 25 flights launching every 54.87 days since its first mission. Its surface tells a story. Each scorch mark, each darkened patch, a badge of honor earned on the edge of space. Those four legs deploying with ballet-like precision have caught tons of sophisticated machinery traveling at thousands of miles per hour. Time and again, they've proved the doubters wrong. But success breeds new challenges. Every Falcon 9 launch ends with a bittersweet moment, the loss of the second stage. While the booster returns triumphantly to Earth, its partner continues into the void, never to return. It's like having an airplane that tears itself in half mid-flight, throwing away its cabin while saving its engines. SpaceX saw this not as a necessary evil, but as a challenge to overcome. Enter Starship, the boldest reimagining of rocket design since Goddard's first flight. From 2019 to 2021, SpaceX conducted 11 high-altitude tests, each one pushing the boundaries of what seemed possible. They tried everything. Massive triangular legs, compact stumpy legs, different materials, different deployment systems. Each failure taught them something crucial, but also pointed to an uncomfortable truth. The very innovation that had revolutionized spaceflight was now holding them back. The problems ran deeper than anyone had imagined. Landing legs need to be wide enough to prevent toppling, yet compact enough to stow during flight. They must be strong enough to absorb the impact of landing, yet light enough to not compromise payload capacity. They need protection during the inferno of re-entry, and they demand time-consuming inspection and maintenance between flights. Every hinge, Every hydraulic system, every crush core adds weight, complexity, and points of failure. SpaceX's solution wasn't to build better legs, it was to eliminate them entirely. When they announced plans to catch Starship with a giant robotic tower, nicknamed Mechazilla, the response was predictable. Impossible, they said. Too risky, they said. It can't be done, they said. SpaceX had heard it all before. October 13, 2024. Nearly a century after Goddard's modest rocket lifted off in Massachusetts, a 200-ton stainless steel giant came screaming back to Earth at over 8,000 kilometers per hour. In the Texas heat, two massive mechanical arms moved with impossible precision. The world watched, skeptics and believers alike, as Mechazilla reached out and caught Starship. First try. In that moment, SpaceX didn't just prove the doubters wrong again. They rendered their own revolutionary technology obsolete. This isn't mere showmanship. Catching Starship fundamentally changes the equation. Without legs, the rocket becomes simpler, lighter, more robust. The heat shield can be seamless, unbroken by moving parts. The launch tower becomes stage zero, a permanent part of the rocket system that stays on Earth, ready to catch the next flight and the next, and the next. But the story takes another turn. While Starship might not need legs on Earth anymore, the Moon and Mars tell a different tale. When Starship touches down on lunar soil as NASA's human landing system, or when it makes that first historic landing on Mars, it will need a way to stand on alien ground. These legs will be different, specialized for their environments, 
designed for specific gravities and unique challenges. In letting go of legs on Earth, SpaceX has freed themselves to design better solutions for other worlds. This journey from fire arrows to robot-caught spaceships spans more than simple technological progress. It's a testament to human courage, the courage to question, to innovate, to fail, and to try again. SpaceX didn't just make their greatest invention obsolete. They proved that true innovation often means letting go of what we think we know. As humanity stands on the brink of becoming a multi-planetary species, this philosophy of constant reinvention becomes more crucial than ever. The challenges of space don't care about our past successes. They demand new solutions, new thinking, new courage. Every impossible achievement opens the door to the next challenge, the next innovation, the next step toward the stars. Sometimes the greatest leaps forward require us to abandon what got us there. In the dance between Starship and its catching tower, we see more than a technological marvel. We see humanity's future reaching higher than ever before, unafraid to let go of yesterday's solutions to grasp tomorrow's possibilities. From the first successful landing of Falcon 9 to the breathtaking catches of Starship, we've witnessed more than just technological advancement. We've seen how true innovation means having the courage to move beyond even your greatest achievements. SpaceX didn't just rewrite the rules of spaceflight. They proved that sometimes the best path forward is letting go of what you thought was indispensable. As Starship prepares to carry humanity to new worlds, it carries with it a powerful lesson. Yesterday's breakthrough shouldn't limit tomorrow's possibilities. The journey from landing legs to mechanical arms isn't just about rockets. It's about daring to reimagine what's possible. If you want to stay updated on humanity's journey to the stars, Join our community here at Elon Musk 24 hours. Hit subscribe, activate notifications, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Together, we're witnessing history in the making, one launch at a time. This is Elon Musk 24 hours, bringing you tomorrow's space revolution today.